Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Dylan. As you can see, I have a new background. Some of you know already, but I moved out of my apartment into a new one. Oops. I also got new lights, so let me know what you think about it in the comment section. The monster obviously is still there. It's getting pretty big, so I'm not too sure how long I would be able to keep it in the videos, but still there. Also, I had to remove my glasses because with the new light, it was just impossible. <laughs> there was just too much reflections. So I'm gonna get them coated, I think, if I can, and then I'll be wearing them again. And after talking, today we are going to learn everything about the French negation. On the book, we are going from page 73 to 78. So the regular negation in French is made out of two words. And the most common one is going to be ne pas. And we have this order. We have ne plus verb plus pas. That's for simple sentences, okay? So that's easy. But we have many different negations, just like in English. So the first one is ne pas. And then we have ne plus, ne plus. Here the S is not pronounced, if you remember my little tip. Here we are going into negation, so if it's negative, we don't pronounce the S usually. Ne plus. Ne jamais, ne que, ne rien, ne pas encore, ne personne, and this one is not that common, but still, you know me, I like my lesson to be very complete. It's going to be ne, ni, ni. For all of them, if the verb starts with a voyelle or a silent H, how many times I'm going to say that in this grammar course? So if the verb starts with a voyelle or a silent H, we are going to short ne to an apostrophe. I'm sure by now you're very used to this rule. Well, this is no exception. So remember, ne or an apostrophe plus verb plus pas. So there are a few things that we are going to see in this lesson. We are going to see the formal negation, the proper negation. Then we are going to see the negation in speech. It's not very different, it's a little bit different. And then we are going to see negation of verbs conjugated in the passé composé, and even reflexive verbs conjugated in the passé composé. So let's see a sentence for each. Ne pas, je ne mange pas. Je ne mange pas. Je ne mange pas. Ne plus, tu ne fumes plus. Tu ne fumes plus. Tu ne fumes plus. Ne jamais. Il ne boit jamais. Il ne boit jamais. Il ne boit jamais. So here, in this case, we obviously understand that we are talking about alcohol. Il ne boit jamais. Ne que. Elle n'aime que le chocolat. Elle n'aime que le chocolat. Elle n'aime que le chocolat. Ne rien. On ne donne rien. On ne donne rien. On ne donne rien. Ne pas encore. Elle n'est pas encore là. Elle n'est pas encore là. Elle n'est pas encore là. Ne personne. Vous n'aimez personne. Vous n'aimez personne. Vous n'aimez personne. Ne ni ni. Il n'a ni argent ni travail. Il n'a ni argent ni travail. So here, between ne and the first ni, we have the verb, and then after that, we have a noun. Il n'a ni argent ni travail. But this is not as common as the other one. You might not even see it ever. First exercise of the lesson, you can do exercise number 1.34. Now we have something very interesting, which is not just about negation, it's about the article after the negation. So when the negation, when the pas, for example, is followed by an article, especially an indefinite article, so un, une, des, or a partitive article, du, de, la, des, de, l apostrophe, and des, all those articles are going to become de in a negative sentence. Or, obviously, also the apostrophe if the noun starts with voyelle or a silent h. So here we'll have ne, plus verbe, plus pas, plus de au de apostrophe. Tu manges un ananas ou un ananas. Tu ne manges pas d'ananas, d'ananas. Tu manges un ananas. Tu ne manges pas d'ananas. 
Another one. Je veux du pain. Je veux du pain. Je ne veux pas de pain. Je ne veux pas de pain. Il a des enfants. Il a des enfants. Il n'a pas d'enfants. Il n'a pas d'enfants. Sometimes, sometimes the article is not going to change. And this is the case for le, la, les, or l apostrophe. Or when the negation includes c'est, or basically the verb être, the, the article is not going to change. Elle lit le livre. Elle lit le livre. Elle ne lit pas le livre. Elle ne lit pas le livre. C'est un chat. C'est un chat. Ce n'est pas un chat. Ce n'est pas un chat. Tu es une danseuse. Tu es une danseuse. Tu n'es pas une danseuse. Tu n'es pas une danseuse. Second exercise of the lesson, you can do the exercise 1.35. Now, the most interesting about the negation is the negation in speech, in spoken French. So in spoken French, we are not going to pronounce the ne, we are only going to pronounce the pas or the plus or the que, etc. But it's very important to keep it in writing and in formal French, formal speech. Let's see a few. If we look at ne pas, ne pas. J'ai un rendez-vous because je n'ai pas de rendez-vous. Je n'ai pas de rendez-vous. Very formal. But in informal speech, we are going to have j'ai pas de rendez-vous. J'ai pas de rendez-vous. Very easy. Ne plus. Tu as de l'eau. Tu as de l'eau. Tu n'as plus d'eau. Tu n'as plus d'eau. Becomes t'as plus d'eau. T'as plus d'eau. So here, technically, we are supposed to keep tu as, but in spoken French, we are never going to keep it. So, t'as plus d'eau. Ne verbe plus que, il a une chance, il a une chance, il n'a qu'une chance, il n'a qu'une chance, ou il a qu'une chance, il a qu'une chance. One more, but you have more in the book, and of course you have the audio, don't forget to get the audio. Ne jamais, elle dort tard, elle dort tard, elle ne dort jamais tard. Elle ne dort jamais tard. Elle dort jamais tard. Elle dort jamais tard. Exercise 1.36. The next thing we are going to see is when we have a negation with an infinitive verb. An infinitive verb is when the verb has no conjugation. And in this case, the negation is going to stay before the verb. Together. Ne, pas, ou ne plus, ne jamais, ne rien, ou le type of negation. Plus the infinitive verb. Let's see a few. If we have ne pas plus infinitive verb, il me demande de venir maintenant. Il me demande de venir maintenant. Put the negation in there. Il me demande de ne pas venir maintenant. Il me demande de ne pas venir maintenant. Venir is the infinitive verb, so ne pas is going to be before it. We also find the negation followed by the infinitive verb in orders and instructions. Merci de ne pas fumer. Merci de ne pas fumer. Ne pas déranger. Ne pas déranger. Ne pas marcher sur la pelouse. Ne pas marcher sur la pelouse. When you feel comfortable, you can do the exercise 1.37. We are not done with the negation. We are going to see two more points. But if you have the book, you can do the chapter about passé composé. Couldn't find a word. Passé composé. And just a quick review. So you're going to go from page 79 to 88. And yes, this is a quick review of the passé composé. Exercise 1.38 to 1.42. And now we can see the negation with a verb conjugated in the passé composé. So remember that the passé composé is made out of two words. The auxiliary, which is avoir ou être, and the past participle. Ne au n apostrophe, plus avoir ou être, plus pas, plus past participle. So here the negation is going to be around the auxiliary, with one exception. Let's see a few. Ne pas, je n'ai pas vu le chien. 
Je n'ai pas vu le chien. I didn't see the dog. Ne jamais. Il n'a jamais bu d'alcool. Il n'a jamais bu d'alcool. Ne rien. On n'a rien changé. On n'a rien changé. And no person is the exception. Nobody, no one. This is the exception. This one is going to go around the auxiliary and the past participle. Vous n'avez rencontré personne. Vous n'avez rencontré personne. You met no one. So that's when we have two words for the verb. Now, what if we look at a reflexive verb conjugated in the passé composé? So you know that reflexive verbs are already made out of two words. They have the reflexive pronoun and the verb. But now, in the passé composé, we are going to have reflexive pronoun être and past participle. So we have ne au n apostrophe, reflexive pronoun être plus pas au any negation that you want plus past participle. So if we see for ne pas, je ne me suis pas changé. Je ne me suis pas changé. Ne jamais, il ne s'est jamais intéressé à l'art. Il ne s'est jamais intéressé à l'art. The last two points are included in the chapter about passé composé, so you have all the exercises over there. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. Tomorrow we are going to learn everything about Ilia in French, so I will see you tomorrow. À demain. Thank you.